Hey guys, Henning and Morton from Flip Normals here. And in today's video, we are showcasing one of our creators products on the Flip Normals marketplace, which is currently 50% off during the uh, summer sale. So this is made by Stefan Wuta. It's his um, environment uh, kit bashing tutorials, introduction series, and a more advanced series where he takes you through using ZBrush as the 3D base for environments, rendering it in Keyshot, and then finally painting over in Photoshop. We see so often that people do concept art, particular environments where they assume that you have to be super hardcore in your metho methods, meaning that you have to draw perspective grids and you have to do everything by hand. And this is a more mixed media approach. Here, we're, here Wuta is, uh, is showing you how you can actually do this in a time efficient manner, which also looks stunning. You're combining the, um, the efficiency of 3D with um, the, the crafting and the hand painting of actually painting stuff properly by hand later on in Photoshop. Like the cool thing about this is like obviously you should you know your perspective should be good you know you should know perspective and you should know how to draw that kind of stuff but this is like a it's kind of like what we talked about whenever we talk about using base meshes as soon as you have a good base in 3d or 2d whatever foundation it is um then you can start to then you can start to cheat you can start to optimize your workflow and doing something in 3d like a lot of people used to do this in sketchup as well um, but more and more people are using ZBrush for concepting, like even in production, you're using it for map painting, making mountains and destroyed buildings. So it's just, I don't know, it's just like the new way of, of doing concepting. And it's it's a lot more efficient this way because you can bang out a lot more concepts a lot quicker. Yeah, the way I like to think about it is you're, you're thinking more about the cinematography and the art direction of the piece, and you don't have to worry about so much about the technical draftsmanship parts of it. Obviously, you know, still have some 3D areas, which takes a bit of time to learn. But once you once you know how to do this, it really becomes second nature, and you can create really, really awesome art super quickly. And even while ZBrushes like can be kind of annoying to get into, if you're sort of using it with a specialized task in mind, like let's say you just want to do this hard surface uh, concepting or environment concepting, you know, you don't really have to learn everything there is about the software. So you can sort of like target your learning in the software to exactly what you want to use it for. Yeah, you can really learn ZBrush in like a few hours. And if you, if you have a scope, if you want to learn everything, it's going to take you like 15 years. <laughs> but if you, if, you just want to, if you just want to use it for concept art, it really isn't that hard to get into. And I love I love this mix of it because it's like you know there's there's kit bashing involved there's you know you're rendering in Keyshot which means you have a lot of passes so you have a lot of control like here adding fog or just adding like a photo of clouds in the background you don't like the main idea behind concepting is that you know we talked about this before there's such a big difference between concepting and illustration like here it's creating an environment piece that gives you the feel of let's say like an old civilization and they live on a castle whatever. It's like you can convey this. Maybe in a few hours you have a completed piece that shows everything you want to show instead of sitting down, spending days, figuring out the perspective grid. Or maybe it was a little off and you have to correct it, whereas here you can just nail it first try. Yeah, it, it's so much more fun. Also, one thing I enjoy the most with this technique is we can experiment with lighting, with the mm. camera work. You can change the focal length, add depth of field to it. You can just really have a lot more fun with it. If you're if you're only drawing, you, you really can't do any of that. You know, if you if you can adjust the focal length of your drawing, then you're some kind of mad genius. <laughs> Things in focal length, <laughs> I absolutely cannot do that. Like you have that sometimes when like you see like I don't know people like do uh, splash screens for for Riot or something like that, where they'll go in and heavily distorted to force in some perspective and obviously you know they're masters at their craft and they can make it work but when you're doing especially when you're doing architecture that can be a real pain in the ass because there's so many things that you have to tweak like once you've defined your grids like on a on a 2d plane and if you're drawing it and changing that is 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 really really hard yeah imagine doing like a three-point perspective by hand versus just taking it into <laughs> into my and just Putting up a camera and rotating a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so much more like, more painful. And, and the cool thing about using ZBrush is, you know, they have the Keyshot bridge. So it's really quick to just send stuff back and forth between Keyshot and ZBrush. You know, do a little change, send it to Keyshot, render it, you know, load in an HDRI to get some base lighting. That's another thing that's, you know, that's a massive advantage when, um, when using Keyshot or any renderer is that you get lighting and shadow information for free. So... 
you know already there it's like it, it, it takes away a lot of the guesswork especially when it comes to the color of the shadows and bounce light and you know, obviously you can always exaggerate that once you start painting but it just gives you a massive massive boost yeah and you can just load in an hdri where you can just get now you change it from evening to morning to pitch black night with a single scary light in it yeah like you can just get you can just experiment so quickly that's really one of the reasons I prefer to work with 3D when it comes to uh, to concept art is the iteration time just goes way way down. You can you can do like ten different iterations of a design in the time you could do one before. And of course, it's like what is it the Singapore one? It's like Feng Su School of Design. Mm. Is that the one? Yeah, where they like they're hardcore into perspective and 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 you know creating it from the base or from the ground up, and that's an amazing you know, toolkit to have. And I think everyone should strive to to try that. But when it comes down to it, especially in production, I mean, most production artists probably are able to because they're excellent if they're constant artists. But the reality is like, you don't, you don't have time to sit down and do all that by hand anymore. It was really interesting seeing someone like Wuta just actually doing it his way, who's so damn good at all the different parts. Mm. And I particularly enjoy seeing the painting parts as well, because this is something I don't really do a whole lot of. Yeah, and it's like, because you use, I think it's one of those things where people have to get, they just have to, I don't know, get over themselves a little bit, where it's like, oh, it's cheating, and oh, reference, and like, no, 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 this is like, this is how you do it, like, of, like we talk so much about reference, and, and cheating, and like, optimizing your workflow as much as possible, what, what takes, like, the most skill, I would say, afterwards, is once you've compiled everything, you have your 3D scene, that doesn't mean that just because you do it in 3D, that you can make a nice environment piece you still have to have an amazing understanding of light color um, composition in order to make these pieces actually work yeah exactly like all the perspectives so that's that's like the foundation and you still have to understand it yeah yeah it's kind of funny with the whole uh, uh, purism in art uh, <laughs> i once met a, a vfx supervisor who was who was talking about this uh, like cheating and you know staying true to your art and he was like i do whatever it takes to get a job done and he was talking to a more to a student there actually in a pub and uh, the student was like yeah but you have to do everything properly <laughs> he was like look at what kind of car i'm driving and look at the kind of car you're driving and the point was just at the end of the day it's a job yeah it's like it doesn't really matter like there's so many students i think it's it's especially among students you know and it's like one of those pride things that I guess you have to swallow at some point where you're like, oh, I'm not going to use any reference. I'm going to do everything by hand and everything comes magically out of my head. But doing it this way, I mean, you're just going to get a better result. Yeah, this is actually one interesting point you're raising here about the whole imagining stuff in your head. This is one thing I absolutely cannot do. I can I can imagine like different feelings and like if somebody's like, oh, imagine a desert landscape. I can get a feeling of it. Yeah. But there is no specificity whatsoever. Whenever I'm designing anything, I have to block it out. Yeah. I can't just, I have to do thumbnails and I, I just do not possess that ability. <laughs> you know, and like in a, in a scene like this with a lot of scattered rocks on the ground, you know, you just make an insert mesh brush in ZBrush, you scatter it across a plane, and now you have infinite variation. And you want to change it a little bit, you can just rotate the rocks instead of having to go in and repaint all the rocks again. Yeah, I love this approach for like this like hardcore matte painting approach, which yeah. is just crazy mixed media. Is the same thing here you saw before as well? Where he was he just threw her in like a like a skyscape in the background, like just pre made pre made skies, and he's not painting that by hand. No. And, you know, this, this approach can also work for characters. You know, you can position or, like, pose some, like, like 3D avatar or something. Maybe in, in ZBrush, if you have, like, a C tool of a, of a person, you could pose that up as your base for something. And if you wanted to do more extreme perspective, play around with the focal length, and that takes a lot of that guesswork to work. If your concept artist was not used to working with 3D, this, this might look a little bit intimidating because there is so much so much stuff going on here yeah. but in reality this here is quite simple from like a technical point of view the hard parts here is really the artistic side of it which where wuta is absolutely fantastic <laughs> He's a and beast. if you're if you're a concept artist you you probably already know all the fundamentals but in terms of 3d you know you block out some some basic shapes you would throw it into key shot mm. just just one click bridge now you can experiment with the lighting you can just drag in a map for it like an image map to use for lighting you just export out and now you can just paint in Photoshop. 
And this is also, they can be a good approach for people maybe who want to get into concepting or painting. Like, but if you're more proficient in 3D, you're thinking, you know, all the fundamentals are going to take me years to really get up to scratch. This is an awesome approach because like maybe you already know Seabrush to a really high level. So just you, you mix this all together and then you can start experimenting with painting and color instead of focusing on some of the, like some of the perspective and like getting you know, annoyed with sitting with that for hours. I'm just enjoying the hell out of watching this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just so much fun watching um, watching somebody of this level just paint. Yeah, and just you know, remember that currently um, all of Wuta's courses are 50% off um, with the code Summer. Well, for the duration of our summer sale on the Flip Wars Marketplace, if you do want to pick this up and you're interested in concept art, um, environment design, you should definitely go check out his products because he has an amazing lineup.